In this video, I will show you how to download and install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation. I will begin this video in Windows 11 download page and I will leave the URL to this page in the description down below. So let's begin this video by going to this part of the page, download Windows 11 disk image. Here we need to select Windows 11 and click on download. Now we need to select our language and I will select English United States and confirm. And now we need to click on the 64-bit download. And while it is downloading, we can go to VMware Workstation and start creating our virtual machine. And here let's start by going to File and New Virtual Machine. Here make sure typical recommended is selected. Now you could provide an ISO file now, but it's currently downloading for us. So I will select, I will install the operating system later and click next. And here make sure that Microsoft Windows is selected for the operating system. And for the version, make sure that Windows 11 64 is also selected. And click next. I will leave the default virtual machine name Windows 11 64 here and click next. Here we need to provide password to encrypt our virtual machine. And that's the requirement to use TPM chip with virtual machines. And TPM chip itself is the new Windows 11 requirement. I will be generating my password here by pressing generate. And make sure that remember the password on this machine in credential manager is selected if you are also generating your password and click next here i will leave disk size on default but i will select store virtual machine as a single file for a better performance and click next and that's it now we need to click finish now i will modify the hardware settings for this virtual machine and for that, let's go and click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Here I will be increasing the memory for the virtual machine to 8 gigabytes for better performance. And you can do the same, but you need to make sure that you have enough free memory to give to your virtual machine because it might result in even slower performance or you might end up having stability issues on both your virtual machine and your computer. So here I will be selecting 8 gigabytes and the processor I will be switching from two processors to four cores. Now let's go to the DVD drive. Let's click on use ISO image file. And before clicking browse, make sure that Windows 11 has finished downloading for you. It has finished for me, so I'll be clicking Browse and going to my Downloads folder. And here I will be selecting the Windows 11 image file. And now for the networking settings. The default option here is NAT, and that's a perfectly fine option if you just want to test Windows 11 because you will have the internet access. But I like to access my virtual machines from all of my devices on my network. So I will be selecting bridged connection. And if you plan to run some services on your virtual machine, like file server or media server, uh, you need to select the bridged option also. And also I will be removing the sound card and the printer because I don't need them and click OK to save changes. And now we can start installing Windows. And for that, let's click on Power on this virtual machine. And when it starts loading, click inside of the virtual machine and press any key on your keyboard to load the Windows 11 disk image. And now we need to go through the window setup. I will keep the default language settings and click next and install now.
Here I will be selecting I don't have a product key. And this step is quite important. I will be selecting Windows 11 Pro just because it allows us to create local user accounts. And click next. Now we need to agree with the license terms. Here we need to select custom. And because we have only one disk, we can click next. Now we need to wait for the Windows to finish installing. And now we can continue with our Windows setup. And I will leave most of the settings on default. For region, I will leave it at the United States. US keyboard is also fine. And we don't want to add any more layouts. I also don't want to rename my device, so I'll skip for now. And like I said before, I will be creating a local user account. And for that, we need to click on Setup for Work or School and click Next. Now we need to click on Sign in Options and to click Domain Join instead. Here I will name my local user account admin. I, leave, I will leave password blank. I will be disabling everything in here and accept. And now we need to just wait for the setup to finish setting up our local user account. Okay, now Windows has finished installing and the last thing that we need to do is to install VMware tools. And for that, let's go to VM and install VMware tools. And after clicking that, we need to go to our virtual machine and open File Explorer. Here, let's go to our CD DVD drive and double click Setup64 and click Yes to allow it to run. And let's click next, next, and install. Now we need to click finish and restart our virtual machine. And also wait for it to load again. Restart has completed. And that means we are done with this video today. See you in the next one.